what's up everyone and welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you how to create an email marketing campaign on moosend first you'll need to go to the moosend website that's moosend.com and from here you'll have to log into your account if you already have one or click on start free to create a new account so let's click on start free here you will be asked to enter your email address and then after you enter it, you will be asked to enter like a domain name and a password and then a few info about your address, your business address and your business type. And then you can activate your email and you are done. I've already created an account, so that's how it'll look like after you enter your email and confirm it. It'll give you a free trial that expires in 30 days so you can use all the features for free for a month. Here you have your home page. You can create your first email list, import your subscribers, set up your first from name and create your first campaign all on your home screen. So let's view here, let's see the options at the top here. Here you have campaigns where you can view your regular and RSS and repeatable campaigns. You can view some growth tools, so landing pages or subscription forms. And from here, you can view your audience, so your email lists and your segments. So let's view our email list. I haven't created any email lists yet. However, there is like a first mail list here. That's the default one. And you can start editing it. We'll go to that later. Here you have your reports, your campaign reports and you can view the numbers, the statistics and anything and you can export them to a CSV file. You can also view your custom reports, your automations and you can view here more options like settings, template, billing, integration, website and so on. So let's first before you create an email campaign you have to create an email list. So, so let's go here to audience and then click on email lists and you already have one, so that's the default one that is created by default when you sign up. Let's view the options here. If you click on it, you can see all the statistics like growth by, source, engagement and anything. And you can also view the members. Of course, there are no members yet. And from here, you can add a member. So let's click on add member. You can enter here the email address of the person you want to add enter their name and their mobile number and then click on save member and we can also if we go to our email list we can create a new email list so if we click on here new email list let's name it our test list here click on create and from here you can add members to your list as I showed you, you will enter the email address, the name and the mobile number of the person that you want to add. And then click on check here on the year. Yes, this person gave me permission to email them. And then click on save member to add this member to your email list. So let's go to our email list here. Audience email lists. And as you can see here, our test list is now added. Now let's create our campaign. So we will go to campaigns here and then click on regular or RSS and repeatable campaign. Or we can go to home here and then from the home screen we have the options. You can also click here to create your email list. We already did that. If we click here on create your first campaign, it'll give you the option to create a campaign. So we can create a campaign from here or from the campaigns option. At the top, let's do it from here. You'll have here the option to create a regular and A-B testing or repeatable campaign. Let's create a regular campaign. Click on create. Here we'll enter some basic info for our campaign, HTML or plain text. For now, let's keep it HTML. However, you can choose any one as you please. The campaign name, let's name it our first campaign. The subject line that will appear on your email next to your from name. So let's say, please view 
our website and if we scroll down we will see here a preview text that will show next to the subject line so let's type for example thanks for your time your from email address so let's choose our name and our email that we signed up with the reply to let's also choose our email and you can send confirmations to here it says the confirmations will be sent to your personal email we can click here to add another email track your campaign with Google Analytics okay let's turn that on and finally track your campaign revenue let's keep it on it's on by default then click on next here you can choose an email list for your campaign that's why we created an email list before creating our campaigns I showed you how to create an email list first so we can choose our test list that we created or the first mailing list that is created by default or choose both of them if you want to then click next and here you will design your email so you can design it from scratch or you can choose from many ready-made templates that are available let's click on start designing here it'll take a moment and here the editor is open you can create your email list from scratch you can your email list design from scratch here however it is easier to choose a template so you have many available templates here they are categorized by type like offers e-commerce clothing and travel so on you can click on preview template okay here you can see how your email design will look like on a computer a tablet or a mobile phone okay good and once you choose a template that you like you can click on use template here it'll ask you if you are sure let's click OK and here the design or template is loaded in the editor we can add many elements here from the left so a container a uh, an item like an image text button and so on so you can add them by dragging and dropping so let's drag an image and drop it here It'll add like a placeholder for an image that we can double click to add image from our computer or drag and drop an image from our computer here let's for now let's close it so we'll delete this element and you can also go to the settings and edit the settings all the settings here for your design now you can also edit all the elements here that are available so if we hover over any element you'll get this like uh, box this blue box that you can view you can copy the element duplicate it as I did here or you can delete it you can save it and also you can view the settings like the uh, background color the size the border color and so on and you can also move it as you please here and for the images we can also edit the images and we can also add the text like if you go to the text here that says hello Anna we can highlight the text and edit the font the size the uh, make it bold italic change the alignment add a uh, link and so on so you can edit all these settings let's change the font here we can also change the background color for this element so the background color is white let's change it to like red and so on you can also go to the comments the preview and code if you have experience with coding you can go to the codes and edit your template view the code of your template and edit it and you can view the history as well when you are happy with all the edits and you have already designed your template simply go to update campaign and continue and it'll ask you to confirm let's say yes and it'll go back to the campaign settings so here we'll edit the schedule delivery settings so uh, if you want to send this campaign now or like schedule it to a specific time and date okay and now we can go to next to preview our campaign or if you want to exit now and continue editing it later you can click here on save and exit at the bottom left so let's click next now from this page you can preview all the settings that you entered so your from name your campaign preview text and email lists formats and so on and also your design here and on the right and once you are happy with all the settings here and the info you can click on send 
to start your email campaign or as I told you, click on save and exit to save it for later.